Hi guys, so I'm just going to show you the brand monstering tool, um, which is the 15th episode in the same Rush Toolbox series. So first of all, I'm going to show you where to find the brand monitoring tool. Um, so under projects, you're always going to create a project for a website in most cases. Um, so on the projects page, you have a number of different tools, whether it's site audit, position tracking, and various other tools that are on there. Right in the mid, right in the middle of it, you'll be able to see brand monitoring. Now, I've just finished doing the webinar and I always like to go back over um, the tool just for my own website and just to show people how the tool works um, so that you're not listening to an hour long webinar. So I'm going to show you the tool and, and how it all works. So basically you go into brand monitoring and you would add a campaign. Now what is a campaign? So you're going to add your main keywords in here, you know, whatever it may be, whether it's your brand name, whether, you know, the variations of your brand name or whatever it may be. Um, you can also add another five keywords in, you know, some some tools, some SEO keywords, whatever it may be um, that are that is relevant to your business. Um, you can also exclude keywords and you can exclude up to five of them. So mentions, so basically what you're doing is telling SEMrush, these mentions shouldn't include these keywords. So that's where you would put in um, you know, jobs or, or stuff like that that's not really going to be relevant to you. And you can also specify country or language and you can also send an email report of mentions to you every week, every day, every month. You can change all the settings here. So you, that's how you would set up a campaign. But for demonstration purposes, I've just put in a couple of little bits of data. Not too much because I don't want to... Um, blow everyone's mind with too much information but i just put in a couple of keywords um for a same rush event that i was at last week and i knew it would have a handful of mentions no links and various other bits and bobs so this is the overview so you can see the overview here um that's the campaign name keywords everything else you know is all self-explanatory over on the right hand side you've got settings where you can go in and edit your campaign and change the keywords Email reports, you can basically change the email addresses and the frequency and everything else of the reporting for the brand monitoring tool. And you can add various other campaigns if you, you want to run multiple campaigns. But as I say, this is the overview. Now, the overview is going to show you web mentions, forums and Instagram mentions. So I've got 23 mentions. Um, from the 13th of April to the 11th of July based on the the information that I put into SEMrush. Now you can change this about and filter it down to other dates or, or whatever it may be, dates that are more suitable for you. Um, it will tell you the mentions, positive mentions, mentions with the highest traffic and the total estimated reach for those mentions. Now going down you'll be able to see sentiment. Now we'll talk about sentiment in a minute. I'm going to come back to that. But it shows you the top domain names that mentioned me. And you see there, there's SEO Trade News, Omicido, Milos Krasinski, Ravens Tools, and whatever this is, a Russian website. Um, not too sure what that one is. None of, none of them have, have put a backlink to my website. So normally it would show you the top backlinks you got as well, but no one back, uh, sent a backlink to my website. And it will all show you domain traffic and authority score as well based on the mentions that you got from these guys. Now, I'm going to come back to the sentiment side of things. So it's a new tool and normally it would show you positive, negative and neutral reviews um, or, or mentions of your brand name and stuff like that. I'm going to click in positive and it will show what SEMrush deems as positive mentions of me. So there's six of them and you can scroll through here and see all of these kind of positive mentions. I'm going to change that to negative and you'll be able to see that I was um, on Search Engine Watch and there was a little article about me. For some reason, same rush is marking that as negative. Now, if you click on the negative icon, you can actually change that to positive. It was a very much a positive article. There probably is a few negative 
keywords used in there, but it's a new tool and a new algorithm and everything else. And basically by going in there and updating these will help SEMrush understand what's positive and what's negative. So you can go in there and change that information um, to, to suit yourself. So that is what sentiment is. Obviously, if you've got a lot of positive stuff, that's all good and well. If there's someone maybe saying something negative about your brand, that would flag up. And if there's something neutral, some just generic mention, it's also important that you know that that mention's there. Um, so that is pretty much it for the overview tab. The mentions tab is where you can go through the actual mentions. So you can scour the web, forums, Twitter, and Instagram for mentions. Um, yeah, as I say, you can filter by date, you can put in, you can search for specific keywords in mentions, in titles, in domain names or whatever it may be. You can also filter your mentions by people who have linked to you or people who have not linked to you. And you can also filter by sentiment, so whether it's positive, negative or neutral. There is some advanced filters, domain traffic, estimated reach, authority score, and various other options there as well. Now, why are we doing mentions? In a lot of cases, it's quite important that you understand what people are saying to protect your brand. But in most cases, people will look to find mentions that don't link to a website. For example, this one here where Milosh has interviewed Anton from SEMrush and somehow they've mentioned me within their article, but there's no backlink. Now, it would be beneficial for me to send this to the link building tool and reach out to Milosh and say, can you link to me rather than just mention me? You may have over, you know, it may have been an oversight or whatever it may be. The chances are Milos is going to link back, you know, send a link to my website. He's mentioned me. There's no real reason why he wouldn't want to link to me. Um, it could be just an author oversight or whatever it may be. So I could reach out to Milos and, and use this as a link building exercise. But also, you know, I know Milos personally, so it's not a great example. But if this was a guy I didn't know, I could reach out to him, I could potentially do some collaboration with him, or someone may mention your business, um, just ch talking about it in general, where it could be a potential sales opportunity. So there's loads of reasons why you might want to um, monitor mentions on here. Um, but as I say, in most cases, you will be doing it for backlinks. Um, now, I can track, so there's various other options here, first and foremost. So there's, you can add tags here as well. So if I was to add a tag and just call it link building op, I could use, you know, I can tag that up as a link building opportunity. Um, I can also track Milo's domain name for further mentions of me. And if I didn't want to get any more links from Milos for one reason or another, I could simply block his domain name from appearing in my mentions tab because I've already got a link from him. Um, or it may be another resource that I own or whatever it may be. So you can actually filter out um, these mentions as well so that you're not seeing the same thing over and over again. And what is also quite important is over on the right hand side, you can export all of that data if you're trying to show it to a boss or a client or whatever it may be. So you can export all of this information as well. So that's the mentions tab. Statistics. Now, the statistics here, which will show you the kind of volume trend for the mentions that I've got. If I was getting backlinks, it would also show you the backlink trend. And that's obviously showing you that you're going to get more mentions than you're going to get backlinks, basically. So they, you know, that's always going to change. Um, but you can also compare campaigns as well. So if you get multiple campaigns running, I can compare a campaign, say, for example, from myself, which is the blue line, to same rush that's up there. You could do that with your competition and see who's getting the most mentions and stuff like that and identify that your competition are doing a hell of a lot more than you in terms of online and getting a lot of sentiment stuff going on and you know a lot of positivity about their brands 
on all these kind of channels so that if you see your competition doing that you probably want to start to replicate that as well so you can compare this information um, with that of your competition to further um, advance your campaign so that's what statistics does it also shows you the top domain names and everything else that's down there um, resources so you can also track other resources for example I added in the BBC dot com here you can add you just simply add track resource over here enter the domain name so i might put in samerush.com for my campaign and what would happen is the tool is going to monitor samerush.com for any mentions of me um, and that will then come up in my dashboard and then i can reach out to samerush and say you mentioned me here you know do, do, can you link to me or or you know Thank you for the mention, or I'll just basically track progress and see what's going on. So you can add up to 10 other resources here as well. And you probably want to do that if you're getting regularly mentioned on websites or, you know, big publications or whatever it may be. So and the last tab here <coughs> is about the tool. So it's a fairly new tool. Not a lot of people know too much about it, but you can manage your brand reputation. Um by following all of these kind of steps and it explains what estimated reach means it mean it shows you what sentiment means tags favorite and hidden domain traffic track domain block domain so it basically tells you how to use everything and also in the top right hand side you can go to user manual and it will give you a basic a, another overview of how sent you know a, a, a de more detailed explanation of how the tool works but in general that is how the brand monitoring tool works it's working very well it's still under you know it, it's still under it's still being developed you know same rush are always developing their tools but if you do have any feedback you can also click the send feedback and suggest any changes to the brand monitoring tool that you feel would benefit you and i'm sure same rush are always happy to look at good suggestions to try and further improve the tool but it's a great tool and i think it's obviously very important that you do monitor your brand, whether that's just for a brand reputation thing. Um, you may have clients who want you to do reputation management services. You may use it as a link building opportunity. You may use it as a sales opportunity. It's entirely up to yourself what you do with the data, but I would highly recommend that you do take a look into it and use the tool to further help your business.